lateral strains. Again, a lateral strain is a non-physiologic strain. And in this pattern, we have two vertical axes. These are the same two vertical axes that we discussed in the side bending rotation strain that was a physiologic, except here the sphenoid and the occiput are going to rotate in the same direction around their respective axes. So here we go, again, one through the body of the sphenoid, one through the occiput, basically the level of the foramen magnum. And so here I'm going to show you what a right lateral strain would look like. Looking at the base of the sphenoid here, so if I'm going to rotate the sphenoid this way, the base goes to the right, and then the occiput also rotates in the same direction, so like this. So that would be a right, again, looking at naming it for here, and a left, of course, then like this. So how might that feel? So again, paying attention to where the greater wing of the sphenoid up here on the right is and the squama down here on the right is. As I do a right lateral strain, I go like this, and it's going to look like this. So what are my fingers going to be doing? So again, here's my finger on the great, greatest uh, wing on the right, and here's my finger on the squama of the right. And it's, I'm going to have that rotation of the bone, so it's going to feel like this. So almost like if your fingers were a parallelogram here, this being my right finger. We sometimes call this parallelogram head, helps us a little bit. That would be the left. That would be the right. Sometimes we say whichever the greater ring is, wing is, you name it for the greater wing, remembering that it's really named for what's going on at the base. So whichever the superior great or the wing that's on top of the superior wing, so this would be the right, the superior, so it's a right lateral strain and a left lateral strain. And next we'll look at SBS compression.